Hello, my name is Kimberly Martin. I'm with Jarrah Publishing, where we bring your book to life. Today I'm going to talk about how you would add a section after your EndNotes in Microsoft Word. If you've seen our previous video on EndNotes, you can see how we create converted footnotes to EndNotes. This is that same document here, and you can see they appear at the end of the book. But what if you say you have an About the Author page that you want to be displayed after the EndNote page? Well, when you tell Word to place your EndNotes at the end of the document, it's going to place them at the end of the document. So if you have an About the Author page there, it's going to push it to after that. So there is a way you can get around this, and it's uh, not many people know how to do this. I've gotten asked this quite a few times. So first, let's go ahead and create that About the Author page if you don't have it already. We're going to go ahead and click here and do Page Layout. We're going to do Breaks and Odd Page. We're just going to say About the Author. Now you can see it's moved those EndNotes to the end of the document after that new section. They no longer appear in that EndNote section. So here's what we're going to do. Go ahead and right click on the EndNote, any of them. Choose Note Options. And we're going to change EndNotes from end of the document to end of section. And we're going to go ahead and say apply. We're going to actually change it to the whole document and then say apply. Now you can see um, it's put them at the end of each section, not quite a footnote, but the um, it's going to appear at the end of every chapter. Now I know that's not what you want, but we're, it's just a two-step process. So the next step is go ahead and select all of your sections before the EndNote section that you want to appear in. So don't select the EndNote section, but select all of the sections before that. So you just want to kind of just select that with Word. Now we're going to go into Page Layout, Page Setup, little menu drop up, and under Layout you'll see this little thing here that says Suppress EndNotes. We're going to click that, Apply to Selected Sections, and click on OK. What that does is it tells Word that you don't want the EndNotes to appear in that section and to push all EndNotes into the next section. So you're pushing the EndNotes forward until it gets to your EndNotes section. And now you have another section at the end. So it's suppressing all EndNotes until it gets to the EndNotes section and place them there. But you are now free to add additional sections after that. So a little bit strange how it works, but that's how you would do it. And I hope you found that useful and stay tuned for more word tips.